I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to operate the Canon EOS Mark III 5D camera. I'm going to start off with the fundamentals. This here is where the battery is inserted. So you just open the flap at the bottom right hand corner of the camera like so and insert the battery accordingly. Now for the SD card. If we rotate the camera to the left, we can insert the SD card in its slot on the right hand side of the camera like so. Once these two steps are done, we can simply flick on the switch over here and the camera should turn on. As for the external features, on the left here is the operating dial with 9 features to choose from. These features include the C1, C2 and C3 modes, which are custom shooting options. The B option, which is a bulb exposure selection. The M option, which is the manual exposure selection. The AV option, which is the aperture priority mode. The TV option, which is the shutter priority selection. The P option, which is the program aperture exposure. And finally, the scene intelligent auto mode signified by the A plus button. In the center here is the flash accessory component, and as you can see there is no accessory attached, as it's not a built-in built component of the camera. On the right we have the LCD panel. From the left we have the metering and white balance selection setting. Next the AF slash drive selection setting. Then the ISO speed setting and flash exposure compensation button. And finally the LCD light panel elimination button for any light exposure scenarios. Above is the dial used to scroll and select any options on the LCD panel. Here is the AF area selection mode slash multi-function button and here is the button that shoots the action, the shutter button. On the left here are the terminal slots for audio cords such as microphone and headphone accessories. Now to the basic internal features of the camera. To activate the menu system, I just press the menu button. Currently I'm in aperture priority mode, so there are six levels of options to explore through. Although as I will demonstrate now, it varies with different camera settings. Say I'm using the automatic setting, there are three options of this setting the shooting, playback and utility settings. Settings can be changed by using the dial and set button to select which changes you wish to make. As for the rest of the camera function buttons, to the right of the menu button is the info button for camera information. Then there is the AF on button, next to that is the AE lock button, and the last button is the AF point button. And to the left is the shooting movie button. Below is the control joystick, beneath that the quick control button. And to the left again, five very important buttons. First is a creative photo, comparative playback and direct print button. Then the rating button. Next is the index magnifier and reduce button. Then the playback button to preview photos or videos on the camera's screen. And finally the erase button. Lastly, here is the button to press to dislodge the camera lens. And as shown in the lens itself, there are options of automatic or manual focusing tools. In conclusion, these are all the fundamentals you need to know for this camera.